don't know if you can see them. There's two buzzards. I haven't seen them here for ages. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the allotment. And I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to sit for a minute and have a look. It's productive. It's messy, yes. But things are happening. We've had quite a bit of fruit already. Potatoes, onions, beans, peas, herbs. Quite a lot of things. But there's always more to do. And I thought instead of diving right in, I'm just going to sit here for a minute and watch the bees. Because I was thinking, what's the point in doing all this work? And it is work. If I never take any time to just sit and enjoy it. Just, you know, sit for a minute and watch the bees and just relax. I think an allotment should be a place to relax as well and that's something I'm not so good at. I can tell already I'm not going to sit here very long because I'm itching to get started. Okay, I hope you're relaxed because I'm going now. Next job. Guess who this is? If you've been paying attention, you will know the story of Lazarus. And look, he's moved out his wee house. He's getting bigger. I don't know if he's going to ever produce a cucumber. But we will let him keep growing anyway because he's worked so hard. But yeah, he's moved out his wee house and everything else is actually still growing. That's, what's that, aubergine? I've got a tomato. Now, here's something I wanted to point out actually today. I have heard a lot of people talking about how they are harvesting their tomatoes, they're making tomato sauces and all the rest of it. Well, welcome to gardening in Scotland because that's one of my first tomatoes this year. In fact, if I zoom over, that's the other one. I mean, there are flowers. There are lots of flowers. So the blueberries are starting to look good. I'll get some of them before we go. What I wanted to show you was the harvesting that I've been doing today. So come with me. I've been weeding a little. I'll try to take the hoe to that. And I'm leaving piles of weeds. I'm not being untidy. I'm trying to let them dry out. Yeah, it looks messy, but when they dry out, I will bag them up. An abandoned watering can. The carrots, if you saw the video about them last week and the story behind that saga. But today I've been taking up the early potatoes. I've still got one or two but yeah they're showing signs they are absolutely ready to come out. But I want to show you the most productive plants I've, I think I've ever grown. Every year without fail Snow peas, they are the best. I think if I was to grow just one thing, it might be these. They just keep coming and keep coming. And he's starting to lose his colour now, poor wee soul, he's worked hard. If you get them early enough, you can eat them as monge too. And if you leave them, I can fight my way through. If you leave them, you get fantastic, huge pods with big peas in them. Great crop, really recommend it. Snow peas, if you haven't tried them, even if you haven't got a lot of space, one wigwam, you'll get a ton of peas. Now, speaking of peas, you'll be forgiven for thinking this is a complete and utter disaster. And structurally, it is. However, we came and did some picking today. I'm trying to open the bag. It's full. It's absolutely full of peas. Um, and yeah, I'm still seeing one or two more that I could take. Because, you know, with peas, the more you pick, the more the plant gives you. And if you leave them, which I think some of these I have left too long, so that's the plant going bye-byes now. But I don't mind that. I will use these to save seed. 
If you've been listening to the podcast in the last season, I talked about seed saving, it was a gardening season. This new season isn't actually, it's all about uh, opening the mystery file. So if you like a good mystery, tune into the podcast, but that's a by the by. So yeah, I'm going to use this one to save seed from. I got my seeds mixed up, because right down here, I've got like, little dwarf beans, which were supposed to be over in the other part, but hey ho, they're here. So I'll take some of them too before I go home. Yeah, that's been a disaster. Not sure what went wrong there. This other one, that's not looking too bad. Oh no, look. Oh, cauliflower garbage. Look at that. I don't know why that happened. I will look into that and see what's, what's gone wrong. Maybe they got too hot. Okay, I better go. The rain is going to start coming. I just want to grab some kale before I go because it's looking great. So the combined total, I've got 824 grams, that's just under two pounds of veg from just a few plants. 